Well, it is a beautiful day outside today, like blindingly beautiful. And I've had a little bit of Murphy's Law kicking my butt here in the shop uh, with some screw-ups on a future project, well, present project that I'm working on. And my planer decided to break a little $5 part that's holding me up. So instead, I think I'm going to uh, knock out a couple quick win projects and work outside on the driveway today. So this is my go-to screwdriver. It's a uh, multi-function screwdriver, one of those that has a reversible shaft, and each side of the shaft is reversible as well. And this one actually breaks down into several pieces. Um, but the concept of having multiple tools with one handle is great. It replaces a lot of space in a tool bag because you just bring one instead of seven or eight. So I really like this. This one's about, I forget the price, 10 to $20, something like that. Uh, and it's my go-to screwdriver. So I, what I wanna do is turn these six Purple Heart blanks into multifunction screwdrivers. And to get the hardware, I'm actually gonna harvest it out of these uh, inexpensive ones that I can pick up at my local Lowe's. This is actually a little bit less expensive than buying the uh, hardware kits online and then paying for shipping. So that's the route I went. And this is just a really crappy plastic handle. And this one breaks down into one, two, three, four, five, and then six tools in one. So why destroy something that works perfectly to make something else? Well, because I can and because it's fun. And then also, if you give this as a gift, they're like, well, thanks for the plastic screwdriver that costs like three dollars that's great i i appreciate that but if you make one and give it as a gift with something custom they're like wow that, that's awesome you made that that's so cool i appreciate it so that's what i'm going to do turn these into some custom screwdrivers and i'm actually going to give these away in oklahoma next month there's a steady breeze and my neighbors are mowing, mowing the lawn so this is going to be fun uh, but anyway i don't have enough material here to turn a tenon, which I would normally turn a tenon to go inside the jaws of the chuck first. I don't have enough, so I've got this loose over here, and I'm using this center point that I already made with this drill bit to help me find center. And I'll push this in a little bit towards the chuck, and then I can tighten the actual chuck. <clears throat> So this is a 9 16 bit, and I have a mark on the other side of my drill bit here for the depth of about one inch, and that's what we need for the bushing. I'll go ahead and drill that out first. I think I went a little too far with my depth, but that'll be okay. I replaced the drill bit with a 7 16 drill bit, and I'm gonna drill this to a depth of three and seven eighths of an inch. So with that, all of the center stuff is done, and now I can focus on turning the outside to a handle. And in order to do so, I'm going to start with the uh, what's it called? The ferrule. That's what it is, the ferrule. Just a little bit of CA glue, not much. And that's done, we can finish shaping. I'm going to just freehand each one of these individually, not trying to make them all duplicates because they're not going to be sitting next to one another. Uh, but I, I basically just want to have this as large as I can near the, the butt end of the, the handle and then maybe have a thumb spot or a, a stop somewhere up here to prevent my hand from sliding down. Similar to my chisel handles that I made. And I'm going to do all the shaping just with a regular roughing gouge and then part it off with the parting tool.
still got a flat spot right here. I'm trying to just trying to keep this as big as possible. I like that. I think I'm going to leave the ferrule dark and not scrape off all the crap. If you scrape off all this black stuff, this is just a regular copper ferrule. And we'll just leave it we'll just leave it dark. For a finish, I'm using this stuff. This is actually pretty old and kind of expired, so I have no clue if this finish will turn out or if I have to sand it off or what, but I want to use it up, so I'm gonna give it a try. Just a little bit of CA glue around the inside edge. At first glance, I think the handle is just a little bit large, but after using it, it just, it's got a more appropriate feel to it, I believe. I originally wanted to make these smaller in diameter, uh, but a lot of my friends talked me out of it and said a little bit larger handle would be easier for you to torque down on and actually use. So I'm glad I listened to their advice. As far as the hardware that I used, it's a salvage, like I said, and I've had really good results with this. I've done this several times in the past, and um, yeah, it's inexpensive. Now you can buy one of these kits that has a nice brass ferrule with it. It's a little bit more expensive. I chose to go this route and I'm pleased with the results. And if this does by chance break and you can't get a hold of some inexpensive replacement bits, then just replacing the entire hardware is very cheap to do so as well. But like I said, I made these as gifts to give away, and I will be giving them away in Oklahoma June 23rd and 24th at the Video Woodworkers Skyatook Adventure uh, outdoor woodworking event. And all of us are going to be out there having fun working and interacting with the community rather than just like a, hey, meet and greet kind of situation. So if you want to come out and have a good time, I'm actually going to be building a, another workbench uh, while I'm there, I'm leaving this one behind and building a new one there. And if you want to help build it, or you just want to watch or chit chat or whatever you want to do, then be sure to come on out. Everybody's welcome. If you make videos, it doesn't matter how big your channel is, then you are welcome to participate as well. A link to the Video Woodworkers website is down in the description below. But anyway, you guys take care, have a great day, and I'll catch you on the next one.